first thing I'm going to do is go to the um, etc portage directory and now is the time where we've finished recovering and updating parts of the system and it's the point where we start putting things back as they were so I'm just going to do one more update to ensure that there's no other changes that need to be made Right, there is it's e login D. Uh, now, why has this happened? Oh, it's because, just because. Oh, no, it's because that's right, because e login D I did temporarily, that's right. Um, but it's already in the make.conf. So, what I'm going to do now is to bring in the accept keywords dot backup. So, I'm going to move that. Now I wouldn't expect this to make any difference, but what I'm going to do is just do one bit at a time, see what the results are or what the effects are, and carry on like that. So I'm going to do another update again. Yeah, there's no change there, so that's not surprising really. Now the next one I'm going to do is package.use and this probably will um, have an effect. Um, and there will be certain packages installed that will have certain flags altered now. So yeah, there's not too many there. Um, GCC and GLibc are coming in again, so that's going to be a bit of time. So it's probably going to be about an hour to update that lot. So these are obviously the system set modifications. It's almost a reverse of what was done earlier on. Um, the only difference being now that the system is actually up to date and it's only use flags that are being changed at the moment and then a little bit later on it will be the packages that will be returned um, back to the system. So I'll start this off and I'm not really expecting any serious failures now. There's a chance it might fail halfway through but it should just be a case of restarting again to let the update carry on. Um, it's a bit unfortunate actually the login D is uh, causing two rebuilds. I wonder if actually I should stop this and put the e-login D back in the use. Um, it probably doesn't really make that much difference but it will help prevent those two packages being rebuilt without the e-login D when we just put it in. It might have been best that I hadn't built with the e-login D temporarily like this but it's only going to be issue with this one once now because the next thing I'll be moving on to is the make.conf um, and that does have the e login D inside it. So, yep, we'll come back in 40 minutes, an hour or so.
Okay, so that's finished. Uh, everything looks right. Just a few messages. Yeah, nothing outstanding really. So that's now all of the package files back to where they were. It just leaves the make.conf to go back and then the packages themselves in world.config. Uh, sorry, the world sets. I'm going to do what I suggest here to just do a depth clean. Um, again, I'm not sure it's absolutely necessary, but it's good to keep on top of any inconsistencies. So yeah, that was all right.